the battle is the Lord's, but you still have to fight. Something we must understand about the Bible is that biblical revelation is progressive. The revelation, the understanding of spiritual truth and uh, the spiritual dynamics changes. Of course, God himself does not change, but our understanding of spiritual truth is increasing. So biblical revelation is progressive. Job did not have the revelation that Abraham had or Moses had or what David had and definitely neither Job nor Moses, Abraham or Moses or David, none of them had the revelation that you and I have. And remember in scripture, the biblical principle, the kingdom principle is this, to whom much is given, much is expected. So when they say the battle is the Lord's, the Lord will fight for me. So I don't have to do anything. That is actually wrong because you're taking an Old Testament revelation and you're positioning yourself to live by that, but you're not supposed to be living by that. You're supposed to be living by what the Lord has given, instructed you and me in the New Testament. It is true, God is still the warrior. He hasn't changed. He is still the God who fights for his people. He, God is going to move on your behalf. God is indeed going to come through for you in the battles you are facing. But in the New Testament, God is telling you and me, you need to stand up and fight. That the Lord will fight for you, but you still have a place in the battle. You still have to engage in the battle. You still have to fight. You cannot use that statement, the, the, the battle is the Lord's, and then go into a state of spiritual inactivity, or a state of spiritual passivity, or a state of spiritual slumber, and say, God will fight for me. That is a wrong posture to take, and it's a dangerous posture to take. Here are some differences you and I must be aware of. First difference between the old and the new in terms of spiritual war, in terms of warfare, of course, is that there is a there has been a transition from the natural to the spiritual. In the natural, the battles that, that the people of God were fighting in the Old Testament primarily were natural battles. They had to fight to occupy territory. They had to fight to preserve their lives themselves from their enemies. So they were all natural battles against other tribes, against other, uh, other enemies. They were natural. But when we cross the Testament, our battle today is not natural battle. As we read in Ephesians 6, we are not fighting flesh and blood. We are fighting spiritual enemies. The second thing that we see is this, that our enemy, Satan, in the Old Testament was an oppressor, but because of the cross of Jesus Christ, that enemy who was once a dominating force, who was once an oppressor today, is clearly a defeated enemy. Put yourself in the New Testament, and that what is your posture against, satanic fo against Satan and his demons? They are underneath your feet. They have been disarmed. They have been crushed. Uh, Jesus Christ has conquered them and he has given you and me absolute mastery over every evil spirit. This has changed across the Testament. And so a New Testament believer has to live like this when it comes to spiritual engagement, spiritual warfare. The third thing I, I want to emphasize is that across the Testaments, we've gone from ignorance to revelation. That means in the Old Testament, people did not understand uh, as much revelation as we had. But in the New Testament, you and I can read about the spiritual realm. You and I know that as believers, we are seated together with Christ in heavenly places. And number four, the rules of engagement have changed. God is saying now in the New Testament, I have done everything I need to do for you. In fact, I've already fought the battle. I've cleared out your enemy. Now I want you to walk in my completed work. You take the weapons of your warfare. You take your faith and speak to the mountain. You take your faith and speak to the storms. You take your faith and speak to the winds and the waves. This is how a New Testament believer engages in battle. A New Testament believer doesn't say, the battle is the Lord's and I will do nothing. No, the New Testament says, I know God has granted me the victory. He's fought this battle for me already. The victory is mine. The battle is the Lord's. He's taking care of it. The victory is mine. Now I will fight my good fight of faith. Now I will resist the enemy. Now I will dominate the storms and the winds. Now I will dominate the circumstances with the faith that God has given me. I will fight.